You know, they say money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you peeps, and that is pretty much the same thing. Hey gang, Travis here, and uh, it has been so long since I've done a vlog, I know, and I've got so much to tell you, some good stuff, some bad stuff, some really exciting stuff, and I'm going to tell you all as fast as I can, because at the end of this video, I am going to try Nutella for the very first time, and I'm going to try it on everything you guys suggested. All right, we'll get the bad news out of the way first. Uh, for those of you who are uh, friends with me on Facebook, you'll already know that uh, Rob and I kind of broke up earlier in the year, uh, right around the beginning of January. And um, uh, there had been some things going on for a while, and that's kind of a big reason why we haven't seen many new videos recently. Uh, Rob is working a lot on his own projects, and uh, and that's wonderful. It's it's really exciting to see him doing things that he enjoys. And um, but I I. I I'm not doing uh, my videos on my own, it's, it's hard. Now I'm putting together a production crew to hopefully do more of those, but at the same time, I'm still working that third job at Disney that I mentioned. So I'm working Disney, I'm working uh, Acme, and I'm still uh, working on my career, which is basically a full-time job. And so I just have not had any time to do videos. And so I really apologize for that. I am gonna get a couple of new ones out to you within the next couple weeks, and so hopefully we'll get you uh, some satisfaction on that end, all right? And speaking of my acting career, some really exciting things have happened recently. Uh, I booked and shot an episode of The Event on NBC, and it is going to air in March, and I have a really kick-ass scene, and I can't tell you anything about it because I signed a contract that says I couldn't say anything. I also shot an episode of Heidi Klum's new show that is Seriously Funny Kids. It's on Lifetime. That should air anytime now, actually, and uh, I play Farmer Travis. Um, I'll be easy to spot. I'm a farmer, and uh, we're, trying, we're playing tricks on some kids. Uh, so that should be fun to watch. Ooh, at Acme, I moved up into the main company for Sketch, so I am officially a main company Sketch member at Acme, and it only took me, what, five years? Uh, I was uh, in classes at Acme, I think, when I was doing the MuseCast, so um, that's a long journey, that, you know, getting up into the main company. And uh, this last weekend, a pinnacle of my comedic career, I had a chance to work on stage with Scott Thompson from Kids in the Hall who was amazing. Uh, so not bad news, but not great news. You know that we weren't able to achieve our fundraising goals for the second season of Robot Ninja and Gay Guy, but what we're doing is we're refocusing our fundraising efforts, and um, I, I know that it, it was a lot to ask the uh, small donors and the fans to shoulder that huge burden, so what we're doing is we're going to focus on larger donors, businesses, uh, big, you know, kind of wealthy people, and to do that, we're entering Robot Ninja and Gay Guy into uh, several LGBT film festivals, Outfest here in LA, LGBT Fest in New York, and Boston, and San Francisco, and Austin, Texas. It's very exciting. Now, we haven't been accepted into any of those festivals yet. We won't know until like April for the very first one. But if we do, that could be very exciting. And the other thing that just I am so thrilled about, and this is the first time I'm able to just say anything about it, we are going to do three bonus episodes of Robot Ninja and Gay Guy. These are episodes that are not part of season one and are not part of season two. They're like dream sequences. I'll say that. Can I say that? I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna, right here. We're gonna see what each character dreams about. And it's gonna, oh, oh, it's gonna be so exciting. And we are working to get some uh, stunt casting done so that we can have some celebrity people from the LGBT community in the episodes. And uh, because of that, we hopefully will get some coverage from magazines like Out and, uh, and Instinct and maybe The Advocate or something like that which will help raise awareness of El uh, Robot Ninja and Gay Guy, and then people will want to give us money towards Season 2, and, and hopefully that's how we will do that. But the very last thing is, we still need your help for one big thing, and that is the Yobi TV contest. Now you guys remember that I'm a finalist in two different categories on Yobi.tv. That's the laugh category and the film category. Laugh for Smiley Town and film for Evil Baby Orphanage. The voting is next month towards the end of March, and there are two events on Facebook that I need you guys to go and, uh, and uh, select attend to these events and share them with your friends. And basically all that's gonna do is help so I can remind you when it is to vote. And you're only going to need to vote once. I only need everybody to vote once in each category, but that's it. And I won't bother you. You won't have to vote like every single day. And it's super easy and it would help us a whole lot. So please, uh, the links are in the doobly-doo to the Facebook events. Go there, uh, attend the events, share the events, spread the word, and let's win these contests. All right? Yay! Okay. Okay. Nutella. I've never tried it. I found this gigantic thing of Nutella at uh, Costco, and I thought... Uh, why don't I just 
try that for the first time and record myself doing it. I put that video out like, uh, what, two months ago? Asking you guys for suggestions on what I could eat Nutella with, and uh, I've been so anxious to try it all this time. Ooh, that smells good. It's a big spoonful. That's really good. Rob made this amazingly delicious uh, honey bread, and uh, so I'm gonna just try it on some of that. I think I know what I'm gonna have for breakfast for like the next year. And I know this is just gonna be really delicious, so I'm gonna... Let me do that one again. You do see the broccoli sitting there right now, right? That's actually a lot different than toast. It's, it's, it's very interesting. I like it a lot. Next up is fluff. Fluff. I don't know how this could possibly be delicious, but you guys said it, and I aim to please. Why do you hate me? I said, uh oh, if you really find you indulge yourself and give yourself a treat, then yeah, Nutella on chocolate chip cookies is pretty darn sweet. It's great because it's like the crackers, because it's got the crunch, but it's also got the salty. That's really good. Okay, I'm, I'm actually really a big fan, but there's a part of me that's like, that's a little too busy. I do love like Reese's peanut butter cups, but maybe just a little too much flavor in that one. Mmm. That was really gross to watch, wasn't it? I'm, I'm a little weird for that. That one I like a lot because the, the chocolate and the cream cheese and the ooh, mmm. We are not using any special effects here. This is an actual egg with actual Nutella. Okay, slight disclaimer. I do like peanut butter on hard boiled eggs. Not so much a fan of the Nutella and hard boiled eggs. I, I draw a line, a demarcation in the sand. The Mason Dixon line is between peanut butter and Nutella, as far as hard-boiled eggs are concerned. Mm. And those of you outside of the U.S. have no idea what the Mason-Dixon line is, do you? In fact, I'm sure some of you inside the U.S. don't know what it is. Google it. Oh no, don't eat me! Don't eat me, no, please don't! Mm. Chocolate-covered apples? Mm, who doesn't like that? Yeah, that's super effing good. That's a really good snack. Snackalicious. Snacktastic. Snacktacular. All right, the moment of truth. Broccoli and Nutella. No, no. I will swallow this mother effort for you. Because that is how much I care. I have tried broccoli and Nutella so that you don't have to. Please don't, ever. Unless you want to leave it as a video response to this vlog, because then I want to see it. <laughs> Alright guys, that was actually a lot of fun. Thank you for challenging me to do that, and now I've tried Nutella. Uh, coming up next is a brand new sketch video, and uh, then we'll do another vlog, and hopefully we got another video after that, and we've got something so much fun planned. I'm going to tell you all about it next time, and um, until then, take care. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.